Hey guys, it's Mihal here and today I'm going to be talking to you about my master's degree applications and basically providing you an update on what's been happening with those as well as the universities that I've applied to, the universities that I've already received offers or been rejected from and the universities that I'm going to apply to. It's been a couple of months I believe since I made my first video on my master's degree applications and so I feel like now is a good time to provide an update as I have actually received one offer but I've also received a rejection which I'm going to get into in this video. But before we get into the video, if you haven't already, then make sure to click the subscribe button and click the bell to turn all post notifications on so that you don't miss out on a single video as soon as it goes live. Additionally, if you want to go a step further and want access to exclusive perks such as being able to directly message me on Instagram for any queries relating to, for example, personal statements, UCAS, university, A-levels or anything else, or the opportunity to play with me on, for example, Origin or Steam, then make sure you become a channel member today for only £5 a month. But without further ado, let's get into the video. So as I just mentioned, I've actually received one offer so far and also one rejection. And I feel like I should start with the bad news, that being the rejection. Although it's not really bad news to myself because I'm pretty sure I said in my original video that I'm applying as kind of a backup. Uh, and so if I get an offer, then that's cool. And if I don't, then that's also cool. And that's just the way you have to look at these things. You can't just sit there and be like, why did I not get an offer? Just literally be like, okay, fair enough and you go on to the next one. Like you have to take it on the chin. So the one that I actually got rejected from was the University of Birmingham and I applied to do in MSc International Development. The reason I'm kind of happy with this, well not happy but seeing the positive side of things is because the course is International Development. Now Birmingham doesn't offer something called Public Policy whereas a lot of the other universities that I've either applied to or going to apply to do offer public policy. So already the course that I applied to was a bit away from what I wanted to actually study. I mean it was similar but it wasn't exactly what I wanted to study. So that is a positive that yes I got rejected but at the same time I got rejected for a course that wasn't really something I wanted to do or not that I didn't want to do it, but it wasn't my preference. And I received this rejection, I would say sometime during either January or February. It was actually quite early and I know it was before my results came out for the autumn semester for this year, final year at the University of Nottingham. If you didn't know already, I'm a final year BSc management student at the University of Nottingham, looking to study a master's degree in public policy. And yeah, so, with the information that they had, I can kind of understand why I was rejected. They didn't have my updated transcript. They didn't see that I was getting uh, 60 plus in everything with the exception of one where I got 59. And so it didn't show as much promise for myself in getting a 2-1 overall. I mean, I believe I can, but obviously when you don't know me and you're looking at my application on paper, without those updated grades, you probably would think this guy I don't think he'll get a 2-1 or that there are better candidates out there. So that is why I'm kind of not fussed about Birmingham but I'm also fussed about Birmingham because it's a great city. My uncle does live there so I do visit uh, quite regularly. Pre-Covid of course I was visiting uh, maybe monthly and so it would have been nice to be close to my uncle but nevertheless it's no problem and we're going to move on to the good news. So the good news actually comes from the University of Sheffield who I don't think I mentioned in my original video as I wasn't a planning on applying for them at first but then I was like hang on a minute I applied for them for my undergraduate degree and if you haven't already seen my undergraduate uh, applying for UCAS video then make sure to check it out in this corner it's actually one of the first videos ever on this channel where I go through the universities that I applied for I think if from the top of my memory it was Nottingham, Nottingham Trent, Sheffield, Leeds and Bristol um, so obviously having applied for Sheffield at undergraduate and getting an offer back then and now applying for a masters to now get an offer from the university of sheffield i mean they just must, they must lock me or something but all jokes aside this is amazing and i actually got an offer for uh, ma politics governance and public policy this 
already much better because it does have that public policy within the degree title and not only that it actually has politics within it and politics is something that i want to get to know about more like i don't see myself becoming a politician um at this time like uh, it's not really something that appeals to me maybe in 20 years i might want to become an mp but just to be able to learn about politics uh and also public policy gives me options and with a master's you just want to have options and i feel like an ma public uh, politics governance and public policy degree at the university of sheffield would be good i haven't decided whether sheffield is the number one place i want to go to however it is somewhere that i would see myself going to it's a different city it's a good uni it's the top 100 in the world and the course again sounds very respectable and i'm pretty sure it's from the political department as well at sheffield which makes it even better in regards to my other master's degree applications so i've got a short list of universities and courses some of them i've already sent applications off to and some of them i'm saving for later so i'm going to go through the list the university of oxford i applied for msc global governance and diplomacy uh i have not received anything back yet and I do not expect to get an offer because they want a high 2-1. I'm probably going to graduate with a low 2-1. And like I said, my transcript is a bit of a problem right now. Um, it's better, but it's still a bit of a problem with that zero mark on there from last year. Uh, so I don't expect to get an offer from Oxford. But because of uh, certain criteria that I fulfilled, I was able to apply for free. So there was no harm in applying. And you know what? It helped me uh, actually get through the application process for the others uh, considering Sheffield actually I applied for after Oxford way after Oxford and obviously I've got off from Sheffield so if anything positive experience from applying for Oxford uh, purely down uh, based on the fact that it helped me uh, actually get some experience in applying for different degrees next we have the University of Leeds where uh, I want to study MA social and public policy this one I would love to go to Leeds to be honest it base I would probably say if I didn't go to a London uni Leeds and Sheffield it would be between them because it's also public policy focused and it's the only public policy uh, master's degree that I've seen that they do it's the one I'm going for and I have applied I applied about two three weeks ago I would say and I'm just waiting on a response I have provided them with my uh, update transcript and information stuff so fingers crossed I'll get an offer from them and so it will give me options for outside of london study because like i said uh actually my number one option is to study in london i just don't know where yet next we have king's college london so i have applied for ma public policy this application has been gone off for two months now i would say so i think i expect to he uh, hear back within the next month or so again i've uh provided them with my update transcript so they'll be able to see how I did this year so far. And I would say that I've done quite well so far this year. But obviously there's still work to be done. Need a 62% average uh, over, uh, this year to get a 2-1 overall. It can be done but it will take some work. And so I'm just waiting to hear back from them. If I, get in, if I got an offer from Kings, I would be over the moon for many reasons. Uh, firstly, it's close to home about 30 40 minutes on the uh, southeastern tfl uh trains and i'm on campus <laughs> it really is as simple as that and not only that but i would actually want to live out if i did a master's so um although it's a con in the sense that it costs so much and it'd be a struggle to afford it the pro is that living out in london would be not only a phenomenal experience but also amazing for the youtube channel the type of content that you would see on the YouTube channel if I study at King's College London for example or anywhere in London would be unreal um, uh, let's just say put it there and leave it at that for now next I have the University of Bristol where I'm applying for MSc public policy again just straight public policy uh, this one is a master of science rather than master of arts I have completed about 95% of my application uh, but I have not sent it off yet. I uh, will do so in the next few days. The University of Manchester, where I've applied for the MSc International Development. 
I haven't applied yet, but I will be doing so after I hear back from Leeds. The way I see it is, it's like, if Birmingham have said no, but uh, Sheffield have said yes, if Leeds say no as well, I should leave Manchester until I graduate and have my final degree uh, grades. But if Leeds say yes, I should just go ahead with the Manchester application. Because the thing with a master's degree is uh, when you are applying, you don't want to burn out all of your options uh, right from the beginning. Because some universities, Manchester being one of them actually, don't allow you to uh, apply again in the same year. And so let's say I put in an application for the University of Manchester now and got rejected. I would not be able to apply until next year uh, being the 2021-2022 academic year which would be a problem because that would stall things by a whole year, which I don't want to do. And so I'm waiting to uh, hear back from Leeds before applying for Manchester. And it's going to be the same with the University of Warwick, where I'm going to apply for MA Public Policy. Haven't applied yet. This one, same as King's College London, in the sense that they're both MA Public Policy. Warwick is a beautiful uh, university, by the way. I have visited before. One of my brothers graduated from there for their uh, Masters and he loved it there so i'm optimistic about that one in the sense that let's say i did go at warwick it, i would have a good time i'm sure of it but i'm also going to be saving this application for later i think even if leeds uh came back and gave me an offer i would save warwick until after i graduate um just to kind of give me options because you don't want to throw all of your eggs into one basket Everyone has preferences, like a backup. You will prioritise applications at different dates. That's just how master's applications work. And that's just something that I've picked up on uh, through various Teams meetings and different information like websites, calls, videos, etc. For now, I don't think there's any other universities that I am considering. I do have UCL in my mind as well for after I get my overall degree classification. But I've not really looked into UCL too much. My, one of my other brothers actually graduated from uh, the UCL and he said it was a very good university as well. I know it's a good university. In fact, I think it's actually the richest university in the uh, country in terms of the amount of funding it gets as well. So I doubt I would have problems with student services over there. But anyways, <laughs> I made myself laugh too much. Anyways, what I'm saying is that as soon as I do receive updates i will be posting a video on youtube to just let you guys know what's going on with the applications and also uh once i've gone through all this as well i will be offering my tips and advice uh trying to figure out what i did right what i didn't do right because i i myself am genuinely curious other than the degree uh transcript to see what sheffield liked that birmingham didn't or just generally like what made Sheffield think that I'm good enough for an offer but Birmingham thought that I'm not. Juggling these applications whilst finishing my degree is hectic. And let me tell you, final year is something else. But again, more videos on that later on. If you did enjoy this video, then make sure to leave a like, comment below and subscribe and click the bell to turn all post notifications on so that you don't miss out on a single video as soon as it goes live. Make sure to follow me on my social media handles. That's at Mahel Khan on Instagram, TikTok and Snapchat. At Mahel X on Twitter and official Mahel Khan on Facebook. Remember, if you want access to exclusive perks, such as being able to message me directly or being able to play games with me, then make sure you become a channel member today for only £5 a month by clicking the join button around there. I've been Mahel, talking to you about my master's degree applications and providing an update. And I hope to see you in the next video. Peace.